Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and God does it feel good to be able to film so many videos. Like, this is my, well, I shouldn't say so many. This is my second video today. I'm filming a foundation review, so if you see anything that looks a little off, don't worry about it. I'm actually working on a bunch of new techniques and whatnot. I will probably share with you later, but I have recently, last night, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, like, I delved deep into the world of brushes, and I feel like I've been having issues with, like, texture on my skin and things looking correctly and laying correctly in my eyes and just, like, texture and, ah, and before I I knew it I kept thinking to myself like what's one thing in common brushes so then next thing I know I'm like into this online world of like videos till 4 a.m. and anybody that knows me by the way my bedtime is like 8 o'clock 9 o'clock if I'm feeling randy you know what I'm saying and so I, like 4 a.m. comes and I'm like watching these videos and I'm learning about real and synthetic and so much stuff that I will obviously be sharing with you guys at a later point um, when I see like what a difference it's made for me but today I did go ahead and I did figure Things a little different on my face so if you're like wow that looks good let me know cuz you know everybody needs to feel good about themselves um but if you oh my god I thought I was gonna hiccup you guys what every time I turn on the camera I get like this air bubble in my throat and it's like Ugh, you're gonna hiccup and then I and then I have a panic attack um anyways if you look at my brows and you're like Paige what the hell happened I tried a product I should not have tried I knew better I tried it before and I wasn't a fan it was the Revlon color stay it's this guy right here um, it's just really thick on one end and it just doesn't manipulate well for me it ends up kind of getting weird I did go through and I mean like I shaped them I taped them I did everything I could do I think they look manageable now but believe me when I say um, if you had seen them a little while ago you'd have been like have you ever done makeup what did you use a sharpie or a gallon of paint like it looked not good but today you guys I am so excited as you guessed from the title of this video we are doing all kinds of cover FX like okay I'm actually not gonna take these out of order um, I'm just gonna grab like one of each cover FX came out with glitter drops and with shimmer veils for your eyes or anywhere else that you want glitter you guys okay I was so excited I have swatched all of them for you because I wanted them to dry down so we can see what they look like what they feel like and all that so I have I went ahead and I swatched them about a half hour ago and again let them dry down um, but essentially they came out with three of the cover FX glitter drops and then six shades of the shimmer veil I have um, all of the colors from both sets here the glitter drops there are three and they were only released to Sephora and so I had to wait for that package and then my cover FX shimmer veils were only released at Ulta there are six shades so then you had to wait for those to come I'm sorry brands but can't we all just get along Ooh, I hate it when there's like oh we're only releasing these here and these here because we get the most money from both and it's just oh it's so frustrating but nonetheless I did get them both in the mail finally and I am so excited to sit down and film this for you guys they came out with with a dropper formula for more of like a shimmery kind of um, like a dew drop that you can put in with your foundation move it all over and it's supposed to give you like that luminous lit from within I think I have one somewhere but I don't use it because my skin for some reason does not like to have their particular formula in with my foundation it always breaks up I don't know if it's oil based or what but those shimmer drops that they have released now for a couple years my face does not like those um, but I am excited because these ones are a little bit different formula and they are glitter derived they're not meant to have like that lit from within they're meant to be like BAM glitter 2018's coming in with a bang we've got glitter we've got confetti it's on your face like they're meant to be a more glitter base um, which is amazing um, on the side of the package which of course I kept one over here um, it says that these weightless drops of ultra fine glitter can be used anywhere you want a lustrous glow hm, dirty um, clinically tested paraben free blah 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 doesn't matter Oh, they are vegan um, and they are also mineral oil and talc free which I thought was awesome um, plus I don't think it just based on like using them this is not the kind of texture or like color that you would want mixed in with your foundation at least not in my opinion um, it says you can to customize your finish shake well and add desired amount of drops to any product or apply directly on the skin um, and I plan on taking these a little bit and tapping them on my upper thing right here and like
like maybe setting them with a highlight just to see how it looks. I know it will be over powder, but I feel like it could work out okay. Um, maybe we'll do a test patch. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm just excited about this. I'm not going to lie. Um, then the other ones that were released to Ulta, again, these are the Shimmer Veils. These say that they are a pearlescent cream, perfect for eyelids, but can be used anywhere you want a veil of shimmer. This unparalleled, buildable formula feels weightless, lasts all day, and won't crease or transfer. Use the flat surface of the applicator for your eyelids and large areas. Use the pointed tip for more precise application to targeted areas such as the lash line. Hmm. Blend and set using fingertips or a brush. Repeat to build intensity where alone or over eyeshadow. So I'm very kind of like curious to use both of these. Um, as far as price point goes, the ones from Sephora, which are the dropper formulas here, they are $44 released in, again, three shades, Aurora, Lunar, and Mirage. I almost said Mirage. Mer Mirage. You get a half ounce, again, for $44. And then if you switch over to Ulta, they are $28 a piece for these. <laughs> um, and there are six colors released. And again, I swatched them all. We'll go through those. Um, and I want to actually compare those because they're shimmer veils, which is very similar to the Stila that they just came out with their shimmer versions. Um, let's see how much the Stilas are. It looks like the shimmer and glows are $24, so they are a little bit cheaper. You get a tiny, like, drop more product, but they are essentially the same price. Again, a little bit cheaper, and we all know that I love the shimmer and goes from Stila. I have, like, four or five colors. I have more on order. I think that they're fabulous. I think that they lay down as a great base for, like, shimmer and other things. If you don't want to use a glitter glue, if you really just want to pack on vibrancy, they are amazing, and that's what we're going to do with these guys today. So you guys, I have been rambling and yapping and I apologize for that, but we are going to jump into the swatches. I think first we will do the shimmer veils and then we will do these guys. I'm going to bring you up close, show you what they look like in the tube, the color, as well as the swatch. Um, all six are here, three are here. Let's do this. First up right here, we have the shade Halo, which is a beautiful blue reflectant. Oh, as they all are. Ooh, girl. Then below that right here, we have the shade Amethyst. Bottom of that row right here, we have the shade Magic. Right up here, top of the second row, we have Moonstone. Ooh, that's deep copper beauty right there. Ooh. Under that one, we have the shade Soleil. Then last but not least right here, we have the shade Celestial, which is like that nice lid champagne kind of color. Now, first up on the other side, we have the shade Lunar. Look at that. Then we have the shade Mirage, which is like that yellow gold kind of glitter. Then on the very bottom, we have the shade Aurora. All right, now I have already primed and prepped my eyes, and I actually ordered, finally, you guys, I'm so excited. Um, I wanted one of these so bad, and I let myself have two of them. They are the Marc Jacobs Iconic little sets. I, oh, I am obsessed with these. I really want to go in with this palette today. Again, this is the 710 Provocateur palette, because this shimmer shade right in the very center matches this guy right here, which I don't know if you can see him. I don't remember which shade that was. I don't remember, but... Um, they look so similar in pan, so I'm excited to try and use him, see how they build, does he set well, all that good stuff. Um, and again, I do want to point out to you guys, these have been drying on my hands now for probably a half hour to 45 minutes at this point. Um, these are very dried down, and they're not like smudging all over the place. You do get a little like flaky glitter, but nothing awful. For the most part, they have stayed really well while I've done the rest of my makeup. So to start building up my crease out of this palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Otherwise, which is right here and then I think we're honestly we're just gonna start diving and I'm gonna start fluffing this guy right here this end pink into my lid after I fluff him in um, I'm not again the purpose of this video is not this palette so I'm not gonna focus too much on it I just wanted you guys to be able to see what I was working with working with working with where is my mirror Ooh, baby you guys I went ahead I smoked him on I feel like they actually applied really well. Things did get a little wonky over here. Like I said, I am trying some new brushes. So those brushes, that, that particular brush was not good. But um, we are going to go in. We're going to fix it all with some of this shimmery cuteness. Um, like I said, I do want to go in, I think, with this guy right here. I feel like the shade, what is this? The shade Magic is such a good, like, oh, God, it's gorgeous. I was going to go in with some of the more like wabam in your face colors, but I feel like those are not 
true to a something I would actually put with this look and b they're not true for so many people I like I want to go with something that other people would pick and choose and want to know about and I feel like the shade magic is just beautiful for any kind of like a purpley pinky lid color um so let's go ahead and put some of this on our hand and grab a brush always looking for a brush all right now I did go ahead and it says on the box that I already read to you guys you can use just the applicator from the product itself which I should probably show you because that's what you're supposed to do Paige you're reviewing um, if you're looking at it it says that there is a flat side which is good for the lid to kind of cut out the area and then again the pointed side you can use for more like precise if you want to go right against the lash line that's totally up to you um, I'm gonna use a brush because I have like really shaky hands and I feel like if I don't I'm asking for something dumb to happen so I'm just gonna go in this is the number nine brush from that same rose quartz set that I'm testing with BH cosmetics and I'm just gonna go ahead and this is the eye by the way that got kind of wonked out so if you're like where did you learn to blend shadow I promise it wasn't all me granted I'm not that great sometimes but like life happens so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna like kind of go in Oh wow, that's like really nice and opaque, which I really like. Um, I don't like it when I'm going in with one of these glitters and it's not opaque. It drives me absolutely insane. Um, now this particular eye look I'm trying to do, <laughs> attempting, we don't know what it's going to look like. I'm going to take it up a little bit higher than my natural crease because I really want it to stand out. Ooh, that is very, very pretty. Like I said, it has a nice amount of opacity to it. And the one thing that I do want to double check, my eye doesn't exactly need it, so it's neither here nor there at this point, but they I almost just put a liquid lipstick on my eye. Oh my God, Paige, get your life together. Um, one of the things that they said on the box is that this is a buildable formula, so I do want to go over top of that with just a little bit more and see if it actually is buildable or if that was a total wonky lie. Now, I was debating on if I wanted to keep this like a true cut crease or not, and I don't honestly think I do for this particular look. Um, I'm going to go in, where's that tiny little brush? This is a number seven from the BH Cosmetics little kit that I'm working with. I want to take it and kind of smudge out this upper area right here and just see how it blends. Oh, wow, that dried really quickly. Okay, so change of plans. We're going to go back in with the flat brush, and we're just going to fluff it a little bit up in that area and kind of smudge it while it's wet like there we go that's better okay so note to self dries very quickly but like wow that's really stinking pretty okay now it does like I said dry really okay so that's dry well piss um, I was gonna use that as a good sticky base for this other color in here um, oh look at that yes they're almost the exact same color this is the shade you might or should I go in with this one oh what do you guys think um Paige why choose do both okay <laughs> okay um, let's go ahead and go in with this one over like in the center area yeah that's literally the exact same color that's crazy awesome okay and then with the other lighter color we're just gonna hit the inside now again this is not something that you need to do at all you could just leave it at the glitters I'm just like extra and I love to like layer and then layer plus I think it speaks a lot to the product Shh, I'm very busy I think it speaks a lot to the product if I can layer it and have everything still look good. Um, a lot of times in the past I've had issues with um, products like this that say you can layer them and they say they make a great shadow base and they say they blend well with color and, and powder and then you do it and it turns into a goopy hot mess on your eyelid. So far this is sitting so gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Wow. I do have a lot of fallout but it's from the eyeshadow, FYI. It's not from these products oh my god 
All right, guys, um, this is how it ended up turning out, and I'm actually glad I turned the camera off for that portion because I had a lot of struggle. Now, I feel like these did go on initially very nicely. I didn't have an issue, as you saw on camera. What I did notice is that as I uh, tried to, like, blend them out and really meld the two worlds together between where that is and where the shadow is, even just buffing lightly with my finger, I had a difficult time getting them to stick to my eyelids. Now, that does not say anything so much about the product I don't think at least not at this point um, I would love to see if other people had these same issues um, I have super super like textured and and odd kind of eyelids so it's not uncommon for me to have that issue what I will say at this point is that I prefer the Stila liquid or the Stila shimmer glitters um, I don't normally have that issue with them so just something to consider if you end up going with these or trying these and you have that issue first of all let me know down below and then second of all I would say try Try out the the Stila versions. Some things work better for other people. I don't think that the formula is bad. If anything, I think that it dries it down really nicely. But I am having it flake up and around quite a bit, um, which is really really frustrating because you don't want to go through all of this just to have it flake off. That's really frustrating. You know what else is frustrating? When your eyes won't stop watering for no reason. So that's fun. Um, Next up, you guys, I do want to look at these sexy guys. Now, again, these are for the more intense, the more fun, the more whatever words you want to put there. Um, myself, honestly, this is not something that I gravitate toward. Personally, it's something that I more or less picked up to show you guys and kind of talk about it a second and see if it's something, you know, that we like or that we don't like. So I think, obviously, for the purposes of today's video, I am going to be taking a little bit of the golder one, which is the one in the center here, and I want to try like dabbing on just the tiny, tiniest little bit, working it on top right here, seeing how it works, if it works, maybe even busting out my wet sponge, doing it that way. And then of course, setting it with a powder highlight to see what we think, um, just to see if it layers like this or if it's something that does have to go under foundation, which if you're like me and you always have to have a full coverage beat down like this, that's gonna be kind of a bummer for you too. So it does say to shake well. So let's make sure that we give her a good little shake. Boy, that was attractive, eh? All right, now let's go. I just about gave myself carpal tunnel. Jeez Louise. Um, let's go ahead. And I was going to just like drop them on my cheek. I have, I'm not going to do that because I know that that's a nightmare. I'm just going to drop it right on my hand right here, which by the way, it looks like, like a tear from Jesus. It's so beautiful. Um, I'm going to go in first with just my fingers after I wipe them on my pants because that's nice. Um, and I'm just going to go in. I'm kidding, by the way. I have a rag. I didn't really wipe them on my pants. But I'm going to go in with just a little bit on my finger right here and just kind of dot it right there and see if this is something that sits good or not. And again, you're just going to lightly and very repetitively, it'll actually like shear itself out like bam. All right. And then it's actually a really nice light feeling. I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender now that I have it here and just continue to buff it out. Try to smooth out those harsh lines. Shh, I'm very busy. Okay, what I'm not liking is that right in the, you can literally see the scoop that it ended on, um, and you, like, can't blend that line out very well. Um, it, like, it has a very, kind of like the, the shimmer veil on my lids. It does dry down pretty quickly, and it doesn't want to manipulate very easily. Um, it is working. It's just... If you're someone that either has sensitive skin or your foundation tends to move on you, um, you're not going to want to do this because you are going to have to hit it quite a bit, which can, like I said, move the whatever you have underneath, move it around, and that's no good. P.S. A little bit of this goes a ridiculously long way. Like, oh my gosh, a long way. Okay. So I'm not, like, loving it. I'm not hating it. I do kind of feel like it is difficult to work with, though. Um, at least in this application. And I'm sure someone's going to come for me and be like, that's not how you're supposed to use it. Okay, well, then don't, because I did. So what are you going to do? Um, I want to go in with this. I'm so mean sometimes. I'm going to pick a highlight. Where is this highlight? I know how it applies. It is one of my absolute favorite highlights of all time. It is the Hourglass. This is the Ambient Absolute Strobe Light palette or something metallic strobe lighting palette there we go this is one of the best palettes i've ever touched in my entire world um 
my world. Yeah, really? Okay. This is the BH Cosmetics number three brush. I'm just going to swipe it through all three. This is how I use this highlight. Picks up good product here. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this over top to kind of set that um, and just see how it works. Now, this highlight is blinding by itself. So I'm curious to see if that, uh, that shiny thing underneath makes it patchy or weird. And again, this is just like one way of doing this. There's literally so many ways that you can use these kinds of products. I'm just showing you guys like how I would use them if I were to use them. Um, okay, what I don't like is that once it's down, it literally like where you put it is where it goes. So like I ended up, like you guys saw, I tapped it along and it, it initially it sheared out very nicely. It laid down. I didn't have any issues. Now, that now that there was like I don't know some it got really chunky right in here and I don't know why this is just a carity brush and I'm gonna lightly kind of go over and like oh no you know what would be perfect for this I lied drop that brush this is the number two BH Cosmetics this is a dual fiber brush I think this would actually be perfect um, because you're gonna get just enough again and I'm literally barely touching my face just like buffing this whole situation out um, to make it look like what I want it to look like. Now, I don't hate it. I do feel like it's very pizzazzy. What I don't like is I feel like it does a lot of like unnecessary grabbing and clinging and like textury type crap right through here. Um, and I can actually see, and I'm sure you guys can see it on camera as well, like for this being such an amazing, beautiful high end highlight, I feel like it actually, like, I don't know, gave like a ribbon of chunk through here. Um, now with that being said, I do have super textured skin and I do like if I'm far away and you guys were to just look at me You'd be like wow that is snatching um, I don't like that you can still see a very faint line even though I've blended it for like three years um, You can still see a faint line of where that highlight was and I'm actually gonna show you on the other side I'm not gonna put down anything just for the purposes of showing you what I'm talking about because I want you to have like a frame of reference for this highlight and how it looks on me otherwise so I'm just gonna go in there's nothing obviously on my cheek right here and uh, we're just gonna go in and like oh I should have tapped my brush off oops my bad but I want you guys to see like how smooth this normally looks this brush was way too big am I drunk like for what I'm doing right now this is not acceptable should have grabbed a fan brush page this is what happens when you're lazy and then the internet comes for you later. Yeah, I know. All right. Now, this is the side, obviously, that we put the highlight pigment drop things on. This is the side without, so this just has the ambient on it. You can see here, I'll get a little closer. It looks so smooth and blended, and I did go a little bit, like, heavier. Again, I was using a, a brush that was a little bit too big. Plus, I really wanted you to see what I'm talking about as far as, like, texture and emphasizing. Like, you can see all of this through here as well as right here. And how I can tell that it is texture as opposed to a lot of people are going to say, oh, Oh, that's um that's just what happens when you put a, a liquid on top of a cream and I know why you're saying that and I can understand that argument but that's not it um, I know a because I know what my texture looks like through here I've told you guys a thousand times so many people on YouTube or in the real world they will not highlight the cheekbones right here or like do it the way I do it because they say oh like I have texture I have this and I could care less like if I want highlight I'm a highlight and a lot of people don't highlight as intense as me and that's fine you don't have to um, I do it because I love the way it looks and it makes me feel glamorous and that's all I need in life all right you guys let me go ahead I'm gonna finish up my face add my liner and my mascara and a lip and cuz I look naked I look so like a weird like right now but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna finish all that up and I am going to come back on here and finish up my thoughts I actually have a couple more now that I've been like looking at it thinking about it for a second um, and I'm gonna apologize I'm sorry this video is so long it's just the way it is y'all um, sometimes you it and think about how many products I went through like nine technically I had like nine tubes so that's like you know 12 minutes a piece that's like three hours so just like deal and I'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> oh sweet baby Jesus you guys I just like turned the camera off and like I put on fake lashes which as we all know I almost never do I have been trying out a couple new products which again I already told you this video is really long and I apologize um, but I'm gonna tell you guys what's on my face because I am testing out a couple of other things um, I tried the Milani stay put matte 17 hour wear liquid liner this just came out I found this in um, Walgreens Rite Aid one of the two um, we hit both 
both uh, last night and I found a couple drugstore things. I'm thinking I might put together a full face drugstore first impressions. You guys can tell me what you think. They literally came like from the drugstore. This isn't like, oh, I was shopping Alta and I bought from the drugstore side. No, I was at the drugstore. And a lot of times the drugstore actually has different things than Alta, so fun. Um, but anyways, I'm trying this out. I did a little bit of a wing. Now, they're not perfect. I had a little bit of a knit with this one, so we're still going to see if we like this. I went in with the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Pencil in my upper and lower waterline, just on like the outer two thirds. I, I do want like a really intense, like smoked out look for this eye. Obviously it's drama. I want drama on the face, hence this guy right here. Um, and then for the lips, I really rolled the struggle bus a little bit. I went in with a ColourPop lip liner and lined the two thirds, like the outer two thirds of my upper and lower. This is the shade Dopey. It's just like a really nice pink shade. And then I went over top of that with the Patrick Star Lip Glass in the shade She Better Work. Now, these products, I'm going to go ahead and start with the glitter drops because I feel like these ones are what gave me not only the most like, ugh, but they also gave me the most like thought process going through. Um, the first, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You guys, I'll never stop doing that on camera. So if it bothers you, I'm like really sorry. I'm just a very real person. Um, my issue with these glitter drops is that I feel like, that was a really dramatic sigh, I feel like they went on okay for what they are supposed to be, and I feel like, don't get me wrong, like, is it intense? Is it beautiful? After I set it with powder, it did go on and it looks all right. I feel like if you're looking in the right light, you can still kind of see the faint, like, rectangle edge of where it originally went versus this side, which is just like the normal, smooth, applicated side. Um, so that for me is kind of a downside. I feel like these emphasize texture. And I also feel like they would do that regardless of where they're at in your face makeup routine. Before foundation, after foundation, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter. No matter what, these will emphasize a decent amount of texture. Again, that's not relevant. I told you guys a lot on my channel. I wear highlights based on what I love, not what emphasizes texture. Um, it has to look really, really bad for me to not wear it. So that is not the case with this. I don't think that it's a problem. And I do think that it's set down very nicely with highlight over top. And it adds quite a bit of intensity, this side versus the not. Like, I mean, it's insane. So if that's kind of a whabam you're looking for, this is not a glittery drop kind of a product for someone who wants something demure. This isn't even a product for someone that wants a lot of shimmer. This is if you want straight glitter, crazy intensity. This is like almost fairy. This is this is kind of where my brain went with these products. I'm thinking like I'm envisioning artsy, fairy, couture, not couture, but you know what I mean, like that out there kind of look, the not wearable side. When you're like, I want to play with makeup, I want to have fun, I want to create a look, take an Instagram, like when you're wanting to delve into that side of things, I definitely think that these have a place because at that point, whether or not they bunch up or what they do, it won't matter so much because you're in it for that avant-garde feel. Um, with that being said, they are a little bit more oil-based than I would like for me personally. I feel like it makes them a little bit patchy on my skin. Even in swatch, they were a little bit patchy because of that oil slick, like slip to them. That was, and, but like I said before in the first clip, um, that's something that I experienced with the previous Cover FX drops and even the Cover FX custom, like their drop for foundation. Um, I experienced the same issue. Their products are just a little too oily for me in that sense. Um, now when it comes to the shimmering veils, all right, you guys, now I'm, oh God, I thought I dropped one and I didn't. Um, you guys, I think my issue with these, like I told you already, they did create a fair amount of like faking and like kind of odd crackling texture on my lids. Um, and, and I'm not going to say that it bats against them as a product because for me, that's not uncommon. I did have a little bit of an issue blending these, whether it be with a brush, my finger, even smudging it slightly. I did have a little bit of an issue. So I guess with these, it all depends on your personal lids. I do think that you could give them a try, but for me personally, I'm sticking with the Stila's. Those shimmer and goes are the absolute best. It's funny because as I was talking about them, I literally looked down and there was one like on my vanity because I 
use it all the time. This is the shade Starlight. I love these. You get, again, a comparable amount of product. Actually, I think you get a little bit more product. Yeah, you do. You get a little bit more in these, and they're a couple dollars less. I personally prefer them to the Cover FX ones. I do think that it's something that your face, your lid, wherever you choose to put it, it will tell you if you like these or not. For me, my lids were like, no, bye bye boo boo. They were very opaque. They went on decent. Again, I just had an issue with the layering of product as well, as far as how they layered with other products, not themselves. Layering it on top of itself went oh itself. I put a T on that. Um, it went okay. It wasn't the best. It did get a little chunky. But then when I added any kind of thing over top of it, like a powder, which it said you could use this as a base. So I feel like that's not an unreasonable request. And it didn't go the best for me personally. Um, but again, that doesn't make them bad. It just means that for me, they didn't work out. All right, you guys, that is it for this video for me. I say this is it. Like it's not like a half hour long. Again, I apologize for the length on this video. But anytime I do this in depth of a product review, I could have split it into two videos, but I didn't feel the need. I felt like the products were similar, and I'd rather just give you one long video that you guys can kind of move through at your own pace if you want to. If not, that's fine too. Um, but anytime it gets to this kind of a product, it really does take a little bit longer to make sure that I present you with all the information. And my channel isn't just here to say, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. I actually want you to know everything that I know, learned, or have gleaned from the product, from working with it in a given amount of time. I'm not going to just run through and rush through so that I can make you a 10, 8, 7, a 6, 13 minute video. I'm going to make you as thorough a review as I possibly can and sometimes that means they're a little longer and I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry if it annoys you but that's kind of how it is on this channel. Um, I don't believe in skimping on the review. If there's other thoughts that I had, I'm going to share it because you're here for my opinion, my thoughts and so I'm going to give them to you the best way I know how. Now, if you'd like more of my opinions or my day-to-day -day life, you can check that description box for all my social media handles. Girl, it is happening down there. Whew, that was a lot for me. Um, I'm like exhausted and stuff. Uh, but yes, you can go ahead and check down there for all of that information as well as this foundation, which you'll see this coming up here in the next couple of days. Um, and you know, what it was, how it wore, all that good stuff. So you guys, I hope you have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I wore fake lashes today and I feel so damn glamorous. Yeah.